Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Director Krennic. Krennic. I'm not sure how you say this, but uh, this guy is very, very uh, inexpensive on Amazon. Like, not even 10 bucks. Last I checked and when I bought it, it was just still 10 bucks. But, uh, yeah, I think this is just, even just in the packaging, I think this is a very underrated figure. Uh, just because... We don't really have that many bad guys in the new, you know, the rebooted Black series, so... At least I don't personally. Maybe there is, I just don't really notice. But, uh, this looks very similar to the actor, which is right there. Uh, you can see he's number 27 in the Black series. If you want to read the read-up, pause it now. Here's the other side. Nothing much going on there. Nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom. Let's just get this guy opened up and see how cool he really is. And we got Director Krennic out of the packaging, and yeah, I really do like this figure. Uh, and just like, articulation doesn't really matter with this guy, just because you're not really going to put him in, you know, crazy epic fighting poses, you know. Uh, but yeah, I have him here holding the blaster, just because I don't know which way to put it in, you know. Uh, it's very odd, uh, the, sh the shape of it and such, but, uh, yeah, like I said, very underrated figure, uh, I think, if, you know, if Rogue One, the whole Rogue One line, I think was pretty good, um, unfortunately, I'm more, like, a couple of the figures are peg warmers, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I like how they don't reuse the capes, because uh, I thought this was the cape that they used for uh, uh, the new Kylo Ren, but no, it's not. Uh, and uh, if you want to see a quick comparison, we'll do the actual comparisons uh, later, but uh, let me just put it back on him here. Uh, yeah, definitely not the same. So, anyways... Uh, yeah, like I said, I do like this figure. Let's just take a look at his... Uh, let me fix my bipod real quick. My tripod, sorry. I really want to be specific. But, uh, let's get him to stand here. And, uh, yeah, let's take a look at this. This looks pretty cool. Uh, now, I, I need to see Rogue One again. But, uh, yeah, this looks... I like the sculpt. Uh, they use two different types of plastics because it, it kind of looks like there's a seam right here that connects the two, but I don't know. I might, yeah, actually, no, it's the whole thing, but uh, I like how they use a the little paint on this. Very uh, odd blaster, but I think it suits uh, Krennic. Krennic here. Let me know if I'm saying it wrong, but uh, yeah, this guy, man, it really does look like this actor. I forget his name. Actually, I never knew his name, but... Uh, yeah, I really do like this. Let's get the blue eyes. The hair looks good. Yeah, I think this definitely does look like him. Let's get the rankings there. This makes me wonder if this is the Grand Admiral uh, Thrawn um, body mold, but most likely not. Uh, the Black Series... Well, Hasbro is very good with the Black Series about not reusing body molds unless they're re-releasing the figure. So, but yeah, and just and minus stormtroopers, just you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can see the belt there. Nice wrinkles here and there. It's got the glossy gloves. I like that. You get the kind of like stormtrooper pants. I think. I don't know. You see these pants a lot. So, and this cape is removable. But I'm going to keep it on because it makes his head look weird without it. But yeah. Just the back of the figure. Let's get some stuff there. I don't like how these bulge out. That's a, one of my flaws with this figure. Uh, let's take a look at the cape. Yeah. You can see all the seams and everything. Yeah, I really do like this one. Ah. But yeah. Uh, let's do some comparisons here. I wasn't going to do any comparisons, but I'm not going to do any comparisons to the Rebels, because those are up on my display. And I, yeah, my display is knocked down and everything, but the Dark, you know, the Empire is still standing, and, uh, but, uh, the Rogue One uh, characters are still standing, too, so. Anyways, uh, here is a comparison between Krennic and Darth Vader. And yeah, I uh, like that height difference. Uh, I feel like Krennic should be a little shorter, but, you know, this works. This works very good. And then let's do a normal, 
uh, default stormtrooper. Yeah. And yeah, um, yeah, I guess this is good. Uh, like I said, I need to rewatch Rogue One. So I can't say whether it's accurate, 100% accurate or not. But yeah, these two definitely, this one, uh, I, I just, I need to rewatch just to make sure. And, um, I would do a comparison with the Scarif Trooper, but, uh, like I said, on display, still standing. So, yeah, uh, no. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to see so much more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thanks for watching.